Got this in the mail today. JLC 3D Pay. It takes about uh, five days. I made a payment on Monday and I received the printing on Friday from China to Thailand. I need to pay tax about $15. I ordered two items. The one is the motorcycle hook from the last video. The second piece is for the next video. It's a phone holder for the scanner. Print this one in the... It's a uh, nylon. It's so, uh, very nice. Let's take a closer look here. It has like a silver color and the surface is not uh, super smooth. It's kind of like a sand texture. Uh, it's about $20 for this printing. It has uh, no flex at all. It's stainless steel. This is the uh, first time that I I use uh, stainless steel printing. If uh, we look closely, I make a flat edge here. And I can feel it along this side here. And I also make uh, a very small fillet edge here. But it, it's still sharp. Uh, the, the surface, it has some kind of uh, sand texture. But uh, it's not uh, even. Some is smoother than the other. On the other side, it's, it's more rough. But surface quality is, is very good. Very good texture. In the corner is not sharp. There's no uh, imperfection. Like a notch. Something here. But it's a uh, minor defects. Uh, this is the files that I made in the previous video files that I sent to uh, JLC 3DP for printing and I will check the dimension and then we have uh, 3.8 get 55.98 uh, that's very close I have a 56.88 that will be only we have 5 millimeters thickness here I measure uh, 5.17 about 170 microns too big and this diameter uh, we have a 7.8 millimeters diameter I measure 7.87 Egg 4 is about uh, 50 microns, too small. Uh, I can roughly say that the uh, dimensional accuracy is about uh, 200 microns. So you need to allow 0 .0 0 0.2 millimeters tolerance for fitting part. Uh, the height here should be, should read 8.5, 8.56. And I can uh, clearly see that it's not flat. I will use the laptop to scan it uh, and use the point cloud to overlap in the drawing to see geometry, accuracy of this object. This is the new beta version of a uh, reality scan 3.2.19. Uh, after installation, it will uh, perform the performance test and it will give this report that uh, blue laser scanning flame rate is 50 and infrared is 30 and it shows the specification of the PC. Uh, suggest calibrating the scanner, but I just calibrated it uh, not long ago, so I will just use it. I have a uh, 50 FPS. Turn it like this. Uh, they have a new buttons, ultra detail, 
uh, effect effectively when the computer memory is greater than 8 gigabyte. White cloud. I will uh, merge the white cloud. One, three. Exit merging. Ah, they have a new function. Unmerge. I will try it. Okay, that's interesting. Now you can unmerge. Can we unmerge it? No. Okay, I'll, I'll try the auto merge. Start. Okay, this is uh, auto merge. Actually, they can merge automatically. I don't need to do the manual merging. Okay, if, if the result of the merging is not satisfied, you want to do the manual, you can click on the unmerge and then you can merge manually. Uh, we have about uh, a 900,000 900, point cloud here. Uh, he's in a cloud compare. I drag the PLY files here, but this this uh, plane is not flat as you can see here. It's not flat. Uh, click on three points. One, two, three. Now I flat it. Oh, we can see here that our workpiece is is bent. See, it's bent here. Let me do a visual check. Yeah, I can confirm. Uh, I I do a visual inspection. The, the the object the workpiece here is bent. I will uh, bring this into the Autodex Inventor. Here's a point cloud scan overlap with the uh, with a design 3D model. Uh, it's much easier to see the alignment. The bottom part of the hook it uh, it doesn't flat and and the size is uh smaller smaller than the uh design model you can see the curve here is is obviously uh, much uh smaller and this corner this one too a uh, whole diameter is also uh, smaller than the design value this part is two millimeters thick i think it's a uh, thin thin part for metal and it uh, probably shrink uh, after they print it you can see here that uh, the the hook part is bent to the left side here is bent and it's also bent toward the left here too so it's it's not in the correct angle the accuracy of the the printing part is about the same as the uh, Casting injection injection molding would give a uh, better accuracy. So you should uh, keep in mind that about a two hundred uh, microns. As you can see here, is a uh, bend to the left. Here, so it's a uh, bend out. Okay, I try to fit it in my uh, scooter. Okay, it looks like it uh, fit perfectly fine. See, gap here is not too bad. Thanks you guys for watching. Uh, see you in the next video.